Uh, what a great finish by our guys. I was so uh, proud and pleased with the effort our guys had. It wasn't perfect. Uh, we knew it wasn't going to be perfect. We were going to face a bunch of adversity, and that's what we talked about uh, all week long was, uh, you know, attack the adversity you face. Don't panic. Keep believing in each other. Um, rise up and make plays when you have the opportunity. And then in the fourth quarter, uh, we made some big plays, and obviously the kick return got us jump-started after we were struggling a little bit. And uh, then the defense had some great stops and uh, an excellent drive capped off by a touchdown with Dalton. And, and uh, so pleased with uh, – guys just never quit. It was hot out there, guys. And, and uh, we played a ton of bodies, and uh, we had guys cramping up. But um, uh, the guys uh, finished the game, and that was the one thing we talked about. We needed to finish, uh, and they did that. The guys were really excited about playing this game. I thought he was. I thought he was really good. We didn't get enough possessions in the second half, partly by our own doing. Um, but uh, uh, he was fighting some cramping too, and uh, I thought he did a great job of of staying calm under a, a lot of pressure. Because I think we were running the football pretty successfully in the first half, and I think they in the second half decided, hey, we're going to find a way to bring pressure, and they did a good job. You got a lot of pressure without blitzing, using you know, twists and stunts. That D line got kind of handled by them. It wasn't your team last year. <laughs> Our D line played exceptionally well, and so happy for those guys. A bunch of seniors up up there, and, and we did this without Wyatt Hubert. And, and so you know the guys like Kyle Ball and and Reggie and, and Massey, those guys played really really well at end. And then all the D tackles, you know, Jordan Mitty's a stud, and uh, he made plays. Deshaun made plays. Everybody made plays, and we had to against a terrific running back because it was hard to just slow him down. Yeah, uh, you know, it's uh, it's unfortunate. We can't have what have happened on punt return, but it happened. And those kids are trying to make a play. Um, and A.J. Parker's trying to make a play. He, guy put his hat on the football. Made it, that's part of the game. That's football. They they fumbled one, and we got it right back and, and scored a touchdown as well. That's You want to try to minimize those things, but you can't let them destroy you. You know, if you have adversity and, and you tank, then it destroys you. Our guys better be galvanized when adversity strikes and say, okay, you know, we're, we're going to find a way to get a stop. So I was pleased with the guys. Nobody panicked on the sideline during any of those situations. Did Skyler have to bike through something with his thumb after that sneak? No, I, I, he was more cramping than anything else. But I think he's, you know, other than the wear and tear of normally being hit and stuff on a game when it's 96 degrees with the amount of humidity at, I think he came out pretty well. We'll find out, but it was uh, uh, through three weeks, uh, a group of guys that believe in each other, a group of guys that love each other, a group of guys that uh, will go battle for each other, uh, and a group of guys that stick with each other when adversity strikes. After game one, you said you were just relieved it was over. This is your first road game against a great opponent. What's the feeling today? You know, I, I said this to, to Wyatt up there. It, it's, it's about the guys. It's about the, the, the entire program, the coaching staff. It's never going to be about me. Uh, I was just happy for our team, happy for our coaches. This was a team win and, and I was so excited for all of us. Was there any emotion shift on the sideline there before the kick return and after just did you see any major changes? No, there? not at all. And that's what you hope, you know, because it's you know you're not defined by one play. Uh even though we got that return, you know, they had a nice drive and then we ended up getting them stopped. And so um you know just there's so many ebbs and flows in a football game. There's so many momentum changes and stuff. You you just have to, you know, flip the script and and, and be ready to attack it when it does when adversity does strikes and ca strike and capitalize on your momentum and we were able to do that. Well, we thought they were going to take a shot, to be honest with you. Uh, and, and so we played a little bit of a softer cover two zone and, and hoping that we could, you know, rally and make the play. And, and I don't care if you get 15 and a half or got one, it was a stop. And uh, I thought their guys flew to the football and made a play and kept him from a first down. You mind talking about players making plays, you know, when it matters most. Can you walk us through Skyler, especially that last drive and then the, the pass to uh, yeah, he really was. Uh, but he kind of lives for those moments, and, and he's prepared for that moment. And we put him in those stressful situations at practice so that he can be 
calm in those moments with all the cowbells and stuff that we had at practice and the noise and it didn't bother us and didn't affect him. We just, like I said, we didn't get enough possessions in the second half, I didn't think, but there were some things just listening to Mess and talking to Mess and, and to Colin that we liked. And one of them was the, was the bootleg because of us running so much to the tight end side that they were starting to creep up, starting to creep up, that if we could run the bootleg, we thought Dalton could get in behind them just trying to get it called. And that was the thing that uh, we finally got a situation where we were able to call it. But Skyler played great that last, that last drive for sure. I was going to ask about that drive, too, and just Coach Messingham having the patience to still run the ball between the tackles, set up the play action, and just, just not panic. Yeah, it, you, you have to complement each other, and that's the way our offense is going to work. It's same way if you saw some jet stuff, and that cr that opened up the inside for a while. Then they started shutting that down. Then we had to start working back more to the outside. We're going to find a way to run the football. Uh, we have to be able to because we don't want to throw it 60 times a game. Uh, but we have to be able to run, whether it's quarterback run, which we were a little bit successful in the first half, but then we didn't want to keep running him, uh, or whether, whether it be a jet sweep. or I thought James Gilbert ran really hard, and I thought Jordan – and Harry ran hard. We we cracked him enough, I thought, running the football that it opened up some of those plays. The one to, to Lenners we thought was a great play that opened up because of some of the play action. At what point did you know during the week that I guess Hubert and, and Walter wouldn't be able to go? Um, we thought Walt was going to be able to go. We were going to be a game time decision. Um, Wyatt, we were trying to hold out. We probably knew Thursday night, you know, when, when he didn't get a chance to practice on Thursday. Um, and and we've, we have a long season. I keep telling you guys it's it's a marathon, not a sprint. And so he's too valuable to our football team to put him in harm's way. And I know he wanted to play, but it was just a, uh, a deal that uh, he just medically wasn't cleared. How much of a credit is that to the guys behind him? I mean, you overcame two defensive starters not playing the same over here in one. I, I know it. I, I thought Kiwi played great. Uh, and uh, I, I thought in a – we just lost a rotation guy. You know, Wyatt's a great player, but he's also going to take 25 plays off of Monson and uh, or Massey and and uh, and Ball and, and Reggie and, and those guys just had to grind and go through it. But uh, I think it'll make us better uh, by having those guys play that much more. It's going to make us a ton better because uh, Kivi had so many quality snaps, and then Deepat came in and did some really nice things. He and Denzel Goolsby made a great play on the corner of the end zone when they take a shot with a six foot six kid that's. Going to go up over the top of Kiwi, and those, both those guys or go up over the top of Deepat, and both of them made a great play. A lot of these, these guys in the locker room didn't go to a bowl last year, had a losing season. What did you see in their eyes in the locker room just now? Just happy that they were able to go on the road and get a really tough victory. We knew that this was going to be a four-quarter affair. We knew this was going to be a difficult thing. And I, I'm a big believer in whatever we did last week has no bearing on the next week. Whatever we do this week, we're going to enjoy it. It's got a, no bearing on next week. Thank God we don't play so that we can get our chance to get some guys healthy. But it's not going to have any bearing on what our next game is at Oklahoma State. And it's 12 one-week seasons, guys. And uh, we've played three of them right now. And like I said to you guys last week, and we better not fall in love with ourselves. We've got a long ways to go. we got a lot of work to do, uh, but the guys believe, and the and the guys are, are are understanding our routine so much better. They know what to expect on a Monday practice. They know what to expect on a Thursday practice. They know what to expect at a pregame meal. Those are the things that we're trying to get going so that the guys feel comfortable to just cut it loose on Saturday and have a blast with their brothers. What was your message at halftime when Sarah only scored through a game after you won we were up 17-14. We knew there would be adversity. Um, and uh, we'd be a four-quarter game. And if we get it in the fourth quarter, we're going to have an opportunity to win. I didn't I didn't emphasize the negative, If to answer your question, really. I didn't want to. Uh, I understand you're not thinking about this thing probably right now, but how ideal is it to go into this bye week now with all your road recruiting some 3-0, beat Mississippi State? I mean, just having all that in your back right now. Uh, obviously, it's great. You know, there's a, a lot of energy uh, in in the office, in the coaching staff, in the locker room and stuff. Um, but uh, uh, we have to get our guys healthy. Uh, but in the same respect, we have a bunch of work to do. It, it's a great example is a game like this. We lost a lot of starters that we said we can't play on special teams. So now Logan Wilson, you got to play, or Lance Robinson, or so and so. You you have to be able to play. We've got to develop more bodies and more depth so that when we get into these four quarter games, and we're going to be into a bunch of them, uh, that we can count on those younger guys to step up and play great on teams. One more. Who won twenty four straight games? What's, what's the key? What's the key Man, great players. Great players, great assistant coaches. Um, you know, once again, I, I don't pay attention to that stuff. Um, so I, I've been really blessed to 
be a part of some great situations and a part of a great situation at Kansas State. And we're going to focus on enjoying this one and go to the next one. Thanks, guys.